In this video, I'm going to share with you how you can customize your live chat to make it fit with your brand identity. I will also be sharing some tips to make your chat box look more appealing to your website visitors. If you'd like to get more videos about live chat and customer service, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, which will help us to create more content and better videos for you and your customers. But let's get back to our story. What is live chat customization? Live chat customization is about the ability to adapt a chat widget to a brand identity using colors, positions, or even brand voice. For example, let's talk about colors. There has been multiple articles that have been written to explain the impact of colors on emotions. The thing is, latest researches have shown that colors are too personal to be widely considered as common for a group of people. That's why you shouldn't make broad statements such as red means useful and excitement. However, colors are known as a good act to help your website visitors to look at your live chat. It's time to try. Second live chat customization tip is about position. Modify the position of your live chat to make it stand out and improve its visibility. Setting it up to the right or to the left of your website might increase the number of conversations that you receive. Try it out. But enough talk. Let's jump into Crisp to understand how you can customize your live chat right now. So once you're in the inbox, simply go to Plugins, look for Customization, and click on Configure the plugin. Now that you're in the tab for customization, you will see that you have multiple options to customize. So let's have a look at colors first, then main text, welcome text, minimize text, and positions. We will only have a look at positions and colors for the moment, but remember that you can also have a look at a way to personalize specific, specific texts inside your chat box, such as the main text, the welcome text, and the minimize text, for example, the one that is displayed when you're activating the tooltip for your new visitors. So colors are a way for you to adapt the chat box and make it better fit with your brand identity. So you simply have to click on it over here and look for uh, the right colors that you're looking for. For example, blue, and we will let the light color as is. Once it's saved, it's live. So you simply have to check on your existing website to see if it works or not. And then if we look at positions, we can see that here we have the ability to modify the offset for our horizontal and vertical positioning so that it better adapts to uh, the right side of your website or the left side of your website. And so it makes it much more viewable for your users. Once it's saved, once again, it's live. So you simply have to check on your existing website, how it works, how it behaves, and, and if it better fits with your brand identity. First example of live chat integration and customization is Comet.co. It's a French company that works with freelancers. And as you can see, you can find the chat box over here. It's totally personalized and, it, and the colors refers back to the call to action here and that kind of blue too. So it's quite simple. As you can see, you have the ability to look for the help desk uh, immediately inside the chat box, which is an interesting offer. And as soon as you scroll, the chat box follows you. Example number two is uh, Oxton Mix. As you can see on the right side here, there's the chat box bubble follows you when you scroll down. And if I click on it, as you can see, the colors the team has chosen is a bit different from the rest of the website, which is an interesting way of trying to attract the customer's eyes directly to the chat and to engage a conversation. So that's something that's really interesting and a good practice uh, in terms of conversion rate. Example number three is Icons 8, which offers free icons, photos, vectors, music, and tools. And as you can see on the right side here, there's the bubble that has been slightly adapted to fit with the logos of the brand. And as you can see, it works pretty well. That's a very nice design. And as you can see, it's a gray one. 
the button has been redesigned, in fact, to offer a box that is completely different. So that's a bit hack, that's a bit hacky, but it works perfectly. So as you can see here, the colors is not the same as the one on the chat box. Uh, so they've been able to rebuild uh, a bubble that will on click display the right chat box. Example number four is a Brazilian website. And as you can see on the right side, they've chosen to display the bubble of the user instead of displaying the, the logos of the chat box as itself. And I even received a trigger, which is an automated message that tries to engage with me while I'm browsing on the website, which is a super good practice. So as you can see, when I open the chat box, I have that message that is sent automatically and proactively from the chat box to the website visitors.